Here at 11, police in Norwood need your help in finding this white van. They say the driver of that van is putting a concerning new twist on a scam that victimizes the elderly. WBZ's Tammy Mutasa is live for us in Norwood tonight. And Tammy, this is downright frightening. That's right, David. And what makes this case very unsettling is that the suspect actually picked up the victim at her house and then drove her to a bank. Now, police say these crooks are getting more brazen and desperate. Take a good look at this white minivan. Norwood police say they're looking for a brazen scammer who used the van to pick up an elderly victim at her house, then drove her to the bank, trying to swindle her. The woman was picked up, which was concerning to us that they actually went to her house. Now they know where she lives and they brought her directly to the bank. Investigators say the man had called the victim, pretending that her son was in a car accident and needed money. When the victim and scammer got to the bank, an alert bank teller knew something wasn't right when the victim tried to withdraw more than $9,000. The teller got suspicious, was good on her behalf, and notified her manager. The manager then went to talk to her and get more information, and because it took so long between the manager talking, by the time this happened, the driver that had dropped her off had already left. Detectives believe the man's driving a 2014 to 2016 Dodge Grand Caravan. Investigators say as the crooks escalate their schemes, here's what's important to know. They have nothing to lose. They're going to your house, minus the phone calls. We've seen all different types of scams where they take over your computer, they try to access your funds. So if you don't believe it's true, then just hang up the phone. And investigators say if you're not sure, you can always call them to verify information. Live in Norwood, Tammy Mutasa, WBZ News. All right, Tammy, thank you.